In this demonstration, I'm going to use the update VV command to update snapshots with the um, original image. And this is handy for uh, you know, doing backups or, or testing, um, a few other use cases. But essentially, we're going to create primary volumes, and those volumes can be exported. We're going to then take snapshots of those volumes and then export those snapshots as well. And then if there's been changes made to the primary volume, then we're going to run the update VV command to update the snapshot with the original primary volume. Okay, so I'm going to do this all on the command line uh, because if you're scripting it, this is typically how it would work. So we're going to do a create VV and TPVV, and I'm going to use my SSD RAID 1 CPG, and let's say um, 3PJ VV 1. Um, 10k. All right, we'll create a couple of those. Two, three. Okay, and because these are um, doing this on the command line in order to set the copy space or the space that the snapshot would write into, we need to use this set um, set VV command and oops snap CPG. And we'll just do the same thing, RAID 1. And then I can list out all of the volumes in line. So 3PJVV1, 3PJVV2, 3PJ, 3PJVV3. Okay, so now we've got the copy space uh, selected as that. And now we'll put these into a VV set just to make them a little bit easier to manage. Plus it would make a consistency group out of them. So we'll do a... Um, uh, create, oh, what is it, create VV set, and we'll name it 3PJ set 1. And then I can add in all the volumes that are going to be part of that set, which would be 3PJ VV 1, 3PJ VV 2, 3, 3PJ VV 3. All right, so we can do show uh, VV set 3PJ set one, and there's the three members of that set. And then we can export it. So um, create VLAN, and then so we have to specify the set, which is 3PJ set one. And then my host, uh, which in this case is this guy. And I got that right. I think it's DL380G. Seven underscore oh three. I hope. Oops. Oh, I gotta specify auto for the uh, LAN IDs. Okay, and then here we'll scan it. There's our three ten gig volumes popping in. So these are just the primary volumes. So let's go ahead and get those online, initialized, and partitioned. Okay, great. So now we got those partitioned. And now we just need to create, well, so there's two ways to do this. We can create a physical copy that would be a clone and we can have that clone link to it or we could just do snapshots. So this first time I'm just gonna do a snapshot base and then use the update VV command to update those. And then I could show you how to do a physical copy later, but this one's the easiest, easiest way to do it. So um, we're just going to do uh, create, create SV for snapshots, and then I'm going to specify, um, say, da, 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 and then read write. Um, this is just the name, so naming convention, so VV name, so it'll just take the same name, and where's my ampersand there? And then uh, for the set, so the entire set, 3PJ set one. 
Okay, so now we do show VV and let's do 3PJ star. And there's our three primary volumes. Now show VV. And here we can see the primary volumes and the new snapshot. Right? Now I can also take these snapshots and put these snapshots into a VV set. Uh, might as well since they're gonna the names aren't gonna change. So we can do um, create same thing, create VV set. Um, let's say read write, uh, just because the snapshots are named that way. Um, 3PJ set one. And then uh, just put in again the names of each one of these. So read, yeah, read, write, underscore 3PJ VV one. Read, write, underscore 3PJ VV two. Read, write, 3PJ VV three. And then show VV set. And then we can see we have two sets, the primary set with those volumes and our second set with these volumes. And then I can export those volumes as well. I only have the one host. Um, so well, it should be okay. They're just, they're, there's nothing in any of these. So let's uh, create uh, VLUN set read write underscore 3PJ set one. Auto ATO, uh, the same host DL380G7 underscore zero three. I think that's right. Okay, and then we'll go back to our host. We'll scan again. Now these snapshots are um, read write snapshots, so I will be able to write into them. You can see them right here. And we'll just online them. Right, so you can see that the, they've assumed the identities, right? One, two, and three, one, two, and three. Um, I'm going to, um, well, this is fine. I was gonna take them offline, but let's, let's just leave everything online. Um, well, let's put some data in those. So we'll do, uh, let's see, here, and we'll go to F, and let's just copy some stuff in there. Come on. Um, Tools, sure. Copy, do it again. Okay, and then G. That's fine. I'm just putting some stuff in the primary copies here. Okay, so now in the first one, we've got this one in a copy. In the second one, we just have that. Third one, we have this. And you can see in the read-write snapshots, there's nothing in there. So let's update those. Um, so in order to run update VV, we have to use a access control list. So we do show user ACL, and that says that there's no control list. Um, so we can create a control list by doing um, set user ACL and then the name of the user, 3PAR ADM, and then the command, update VV, and then I need the names of these um, volumes that I'll be updating. Now the nice thing is that the volumes start with um, RW, same thing as the um, set here, so I can just say RW underscore star. And I believe I can do that anyway. Okay. And then I should be able to run the update VV command and we'll, well, let's just go ahead and run it. Update VV and I'm going to force it. So it's not going to prompt me to um, answer yes. And we'll say set um, three, I read, write underscore three P J set one. So I updated all of those. And if I come over here to the host, let's go back to here and we'll rescan it. And Windows will knock these offline after the rescan. You see that they all dropped offline. 
and then we can just online them. And you can script this online process too for Windows. For Linux, you just have to rescan the disks. Okay, so now I've got one, so which should match one, two should match two, and three should match three. Okay, so here's one, and that's got two in there. Here's one, it's got two in there. Here's the original two, the other two, the original three, and the read write three. So what we've done here is we created three volumes. We've taken snapshots of those volumes, exported them all to the same host. We put data in the primary volumes, and then we just updated the snapshots to the primary volumes. Okay, so if we do show VB, show, show, come on. So it's knocked me off. Let's try again here. Show VB. Then we can see here's the volumes in the snapshots, and it has not created another snapshot. It's just updated this snapshot back to the original image. All right, so in the next one, I will do a full copy in between the update VB process.